What is up, all right, warriors, and welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be doing another follow along, and we're going to be going through a roughly 20 minute handstand workout. As always, the full routine will be available in the description down below for an offline PDF version. And uh, also today's routine is very much aligned with the handstand routines that we have on the app. So if you wanna check out my app Tribe, again, that is linked in the description down below. Otherwise, let's jump into the routine. For this routine, you're just gonna need a wall like I've got behind me, and I'd recommend grabbing some parallel bars as well, like these ones. If you don't have parallel bars, then we can do some modifications to do it on the floor. You'll still be able to do it. The wall is probably the main thing. This routine is for beginners who are learning just to balance their handstands. Somebody who can get onto the wall comfortably is gonna be perfect for this routine. So let's go straight down onto the floor and we're gonna start with something called some wrist clock walk. So we're gonna walk around in 90 degree intervals on our hands going as far as we can internally rotated. We're gonna pause with our fingers facing back towards us and then walk all the way around again. So we're maximally externally rotated, again, fingers facing backwards. So we're just gonna do two repeats of this and we can now start to just load a little bit of weight onto our hands. Generally speaking, wrist injuries are the most common with handstands. We go from not putting any weight onto our hands to putting a lot of weight onto our hands. As long as you warm up, generally speaking, and, and, and progress, you know, not zero to 100, you're gonna help mitigate a lot of that risk of injury. So we're just gonna walk round to that starting position. And from here, we're gonna perform some first knuckle push-ups. So, kneeling position is the easiest. We're just gonna press up onto that first knuckle, as hard as we can, and lower under control. Try and keep those shoulders over the hands. If you wanna make this more intense, you can lean the shoulders further forward when doing it. We're just gonna do 10 of these. So again, just gonna warm up some of those wrist flexors and get us ready for doing some handstands. So a couple more. And then we're gonna move to some wrist push-ups. So for this one, we're gonna be working the reverse. We're we'll rolling onto the back of the hands, putting the fist together to roll back up. We can add a little bit of a push-up, but just for the moment, we're just gonna do it with straight arms. So when you're going back onto that fist position, make sure you're, you're pulling yourself back onto the fist by squeezing the hands together. Again, we're just gonna do 10 of these. And then finally, just to finish up, we're just gonna do some rocks. So we're gonna do ulnar and radial deviation. So again, in that fist position, roll as far forward as you can with the wrists. And then we're gonna rock back, bending the elbow slightly. So we're gonna do 10 in total. A more each way. And hopefully, the wrist should be feeling a little bit more warmed up. Right, the wrist are sorted, we're gonna move on to the shoulders. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna work on our elevation of the shoulders, pushing the shoulders as high as soon as possible. So to do this, we're gonna start on our knees, hands by our knees, and we're gonna try and basically think about pushing the ground as far away from us as we can and getting our hips as high as possible. And we're gonna end up in a pike position. So the more weight you have on your feet, the easier it's gonna be the more weight you have in the hands, the harder it's gonna be. It doesn't need to be really hard, it's just a warm up for the moment. The focus is trying to push as far away from you as you can and really try to squeeze your ears with your shoulders. So we're just gonna do five of these with a couple of seconds pause at the top. Last one. So it should be feeling a bit more warm now. For those of us who have slightly tighter shoulders or just want to understand of what a good handstand feels like in terms of shoulder line, we're gonna do a couple of body line drills quickly on the floor before we get into some actual handstands. So we're gonna start off 
with a prone position on the floor. So you're gonna start lying down. What we're gonna do from this position is we're gonna come up onto our fingertips and we're gonna try and think about how our handstand should be in a straight line. So what you're gonna try and do is you're gonna try and lift your stomach off the ground. So we create a slight hollow of the body and then look between your hands, just like you would with handstand. We're just gonna hold this position for 20 seconds. This is an active position. So you're actively bracing the core, trying to pull it in. Get a feeling of what straight feels like. Pressing down through the fingers as well. And then we can relax. We can now grab the hands together, curl the hands up, and we're just gonna go into a prone butcher's block. So tuck the hands behind the head, same thing again. Try to pull the belly button in, push the shoulders down towards the ground. We should be feeling a stretch in the triceps and then the lap. We're just gonna hold this one for 30 seconds. Again, pull that belly button up, try to hollow out slightly. Right, so hopefully our shoulder position should be feeling a little bit better. If you've got particularly tight shoulders, you may want to take some time to do those two drills for another two or three times, just to make sure this position feels open. But now we can jump into the handstand. So this is when the wall comes into play. We're going to do a couple of chest to wall warm up sets. So we're just going to walk up to the wall, focus on the same shoulder position, pushing nice and tall. That same body line position, tucking the pelvis under, trying to have a slightly hollowed body. Very, very slightly, it's pretty much straight. Hold for 20 seconds and then come back down. You can get into the wall however you want, cartwheel on, walk up, whatever works. Just make sure you get into that chest wall position. So we wanna come pretty close to the wall. We wanna still be slightly away from the wall so we give ourselves some room. But we're just gonna focus on pushing here, pushing nice and tall, push the hips towards the wall and squeeze those ears of your shoulders. Keep holding. Another five seconds or so. Then come back. So as our first warm up hold, we've got body on the wall. So the wall gives us a little bit of reference in terms of where straight is gonna feel like. We're gonna warm up to doing some balance sets over the next two or three sets. So the next one, this time we were say four or five inches away from the wall, 10 centimeters, something like that. This time we're gonna go a little bit further out from the wall and we're gonna focus on feeling like our feet are very, very light on the wall. Somebody should be able to come up, pick your feet off, and they can pick your feet off quite comfortably. If you have loads of weight in the wall, then you need to adjust where that center is and get it more over the hands. So we're just gonna take another sort of 20 seconds of rest, gonna do another set of that, and then we're gonna do some balancing. So again, chest to wall, we can get into this however we wanna get into this. Go now from that 10 centimeters to maybe closer to 15, 20 centimeters away. So here, I should feel like my feet are pretty light on the wall. Same position though, push hips towards the wall, push up nice and tall, and just get that feeling that most of the weight is in my hands. So my feet are proper light on the wall. Right. Okay, so depending on where you're at with your balance, it's gonna vary where you are with the exercise. We're gonna do a few different sets now, back to back, and you need to choose what's gonna be appropriate for you. If you can balance, if you're doing some wall handstands, you're getting five, 10 seconds wherever you are, great. Stick to the drills I'm gonna do. 
If you're not quite at that point, you can just do the chest roll drills just like we were doing, but get in that sensation of feeling light on the wall. So I'm just gonna take another 20 seconds rest and then we can jump into the first drill. Right. So here, for the first drill, we're gonna do split legs. So whereas both our legs were now on the wall, we're gonna take one leg off. That's gonna bring a little bit more weight from behind our hands to then over our hands. And then that way we can hopefully find a little bit of balance off the wall as much as we can. Try not to fall over. That's the main thing. Try to always fall back onto the wall. But if we can do now, we're looking to try and get a few glimpses of balance. So again, kick up chest to wall. However you want to. Push up nice and tall, same good shoulder position. Bring one leg off. And we're not gonna push with this foot. We're just gonna feel the weight drift us off the wall. If you feel like you're gonna fall too far this way, squeeze the fingers really hard to push yourself back onto the wall. So again, we're gonna try and just spend 20 seconds here just trying to balance. So handstands is all about time. We're only gonna do a short session today. This is a beginner workout. It's about getting things started. But the more you get into handstands, the more you train it, the best way to progress is about spending more time bouncing. And the best way to do that is to do more and more sets. So if today isn't enough for you, just pause the video and carry on going. We're gonna rest another 30 seconds or so. Um, or just as you feel is needed. If you're feeling tired, it's gonna affect your balance. There's no point. The main thing is making the most out of the session. That's why we use the wall. If we're just kicking up in the middle and we're sort of like trying to catch a second or a couple of seconds, that added up over a session is not actually gonna be very much tall. If we can use the wall, we can get five, 10 good seconds of balance. Progress is gonna happen that much quicker. So the next drill we're gonna do is gonna require a bit of a kick up. It's gonna be essentially the same drill, but instead of chest to wall, we're gonna do back to wall. We're gonna stick with the same split leg position to try and get some balance. And then all we're gonna do is we're gonna gently squeeze our fingers. That's gonna give us a little bit of balance off the wall. Try and hold it as much as you can freestanding. And again, if you're gonna fall, try to fall back onto the wall. Go for about a total of 10 to 20 seconds or so, actually upside down on your hands, trying to balance as much of that time as possible. If you're not quite comfortable yet with the kick up, then you can just do another repeat of the chest to wall single leg drill that we just did. So we're gonna find that single leg position. Same position with the shoulders and the hips, that single leg. Gently, we're gonna squeeze our fingers, gonna bring some weight off the wall, and we're gonna try and find that balancing point. Don't be in a rush to bring the feet together, but once you feel comfortable, if you find your balance, then feel free to bring them together. Again, we're gonna hold as long as possible, 10, 20 seconds in this balanced position, and then come back down. If you can hold for longer, absolutely hold for longer, that is fine. But again, it's about time. Try not to, during that set, fall down, kick up multiple times. Again, we're gonna take a little bit more rest this time. It's about quality, not quantity. And we're gonna do another set. And we're just gonna go back and forth between that toe pull set and the back to wall set. I wasn't expecting to be this tired from handstands. <laughs> right, so we're gonna, as I said, we're gonna do one more set of each of those drills. So we're gonna do four sets of balancing in total with the warm-up set, there's five sets. It's not a huge amount of volume for a handstand session, but this is a good way to get started. Maybe over the weeks, over the coming sessions, try to add another set as you go and build that up slowly. You know, anywhere from 10 to 20, maybe even more sets is a good amount for a handstand session but don't go from zero to 100 because that's how injuries happen. Right, so done one chest wall, one back to wall. Let's do another chest wall. Same thing, big focus on quality, single leg, 
make that foot feel light, try to find balance and try to get as much time balancing as possible. Always, if you're gonna fall, try to fall back onto the wall. So keep balancing as long as you can here. Take your time. And then come down when you're ready. This one's gonna probably involve a little bit of pause in the video, restarting, just as you are. If you don't get a good set, that's fine. Not every set can be good. Some are good, some are bad. Just think about that overall time in the session. You know, if it takes you 10 sets to accumulate 60 seconds of balance, that's six sets six seconds on average per set. Some sets might be 10 or 15 seconds, and other sets might just be two. So again, we're gonna rest up, and then we're gonna do one last set of back to wall, and then we're gonna finish with a couple of accessory drills. As I mentioned guys, this routine is similar to what is on my app Tribe. There's a free routine on there, and then there's also eight different handstand levels from absolute beginner to being able to get your first sort of 10, 15 seconds of balance. All right, second, we're on the fourth set, second exercise, back to wall. Find that position, little squeeze of the fingers, pressing through the fingers, and then try to find that balance. Try to spend as much time there as possible. So from here, it's that squeeze that's gonna lift us off. I'm not pushing with this foot. Again, spend as much time balancing as possible. After you got that 10 to 20 seconds, just come back down. So if you're feeling like you want to do more, pause this video, do more come back to it when you're just getting nothing on the wall. So when we train handstands, especially initially, um, we spend a lot of time in shoulder flexion in this position, the traps working in this direction. It's important as well that we get some conditioning in the reverse, which is pressing down. So that would be on something like these, these makeshift parallettes. If you have proper parallettes, that's great. Something like a straight arm to support. That is gonna be our pushing down and working the traps in depression. If you haven't got parallel bars, we can do this on the floor. We're just gonna do it in a uh, supported position. So, with our legs straight. Again, we're just gonna try and push down as hard as we can. Feel that we're gonna also try and push our hips slightly forward. So we're actively gonna try and push a little bit into shoulder extension. And again, we can hold in exactly the same way. So. On the parallel bars, we're gonna go for an L-sit progression. I'd recommend just doing a tuck L-sit. It's not necessarily about building up intensity here. It's just about getting some time and some strength with the, the traps on the shoulders and extension and depression, as opposed to elevation and flexion. So we're gonna do a couple of sets of just some tuck L-sits to finish up. And then that is the routine. So again, 15 to 20 seconds is a good mark on this one. As I said, nothing crazy intense. We're just trying to balance out those shoulders, especially at that beginner level. So the most important thing here, when you're doing an L-sit, not to let the shoulders round. We want to keep pressing down, lift the chest up, and then lift the shoulder position. Nice and simple. It's just about working the shoulders in that opposite angle. So we're just gonna do one more set. And then that is the workout. You can also do just a little bit of wrist work as well as a cool down. Again, especially if you're new to handstands, taking care of these wrists is gonna be the key for that long-term consistency and success. Just gonna rest another 30 seconds or so. 
a little bit more rest between these ones. Ideally, to be honest, I would take more rest between the balance sets as well. Just to keep this video around that 20 minute mark, I've been up and down, but really, uh, as Mikkel Christiansen says, uh, a good friend, Norwegian hand balancer, um, he says, handstand training should be like a tea party. You know, drink a little bit of tea, sit down, have a chat, hang out, and then you drink a little bit more tea. It's the same with handstands. Do your set on the wall, come down, sit on Instagram for a bit, and then hold back arms to the wall. Right, one more set of those L sits, and then we finish up this session. That is it. That is your basic handstand session done. As I said, there's lots of modifications that can be made to this depending on where you personally are. And that's the most important thing. You need to adjust the session for yourself. As always, if you want a little bit more of a personal approach, you can then check the app Tribe. As I said, there's, there's levels one to eight. So there's probably something in there that's gonna be more aligned to where you are at in particular. As always, that will be linked in the description down below. Whilst you're in there, hit that thumbs up button, support the channel, would highly appreciate it. Right next to it is that subscribe button if you want to join the Bodyweight Warrior tribe. But other than that, I will catch you in the next episode. Have a strong week. And